So this is the Xiaomi Mi TV. It's just like any other modern smart TV. It's thin, lets you stream content from various platform, but its ace card lies in what Xiaomi does best, a ridiculously more affordable price tag. To combat that formula, Vue has introduced this guy, the Activoy Smart TV. Its biggest highlight is that to buy it, you don't have to go through the painful process of flash sales and wait weeks before being able to order. It also runs on an unmodified Android operating system that's compatible with much more services and features. So which one should you choose? Coming up next on techpp.com. Hey guys, this is Shubham from TechPP and today we will be comparing the Mi TV with the View Activoice and see which one deserves a place in your living room. Right out the box, you will notice that the Mi TV is the one with the looks here. It's got a much thinner design, actually the thinnest LED TV at 4.9mm and also minimal bezels on the front which look miles better than the views. But there's a big reason for views extra thickness. It's backlit instead of edge lit. Because of that, the brightness is evenly distributed throughout the panel. But yeah, you won't notice a ton of difference unless you place them side by side though. And while we are on the subject of picture quality, you first of all should know that there are four types of content you will be probably watching on your TV. 4K HDR, 4K normal, HD and SD channels. Since this TV supports HDR, the picture quality for such content is markedly better here. But for the rest, the View TV has an edge because it handles upscaling a little better. Also, we don't really have any 4K content, not just HDR, from any of the supported end on Mi TV as of now. Thanks to the clean Android software, the View Activize is compatible with a whole range of services on which you can play 4K content like Netflix or even YouTube. Way to read, Mi TV's patch wall interface does have its own advantages though. Xiaomi has come up with this handy software feature that lets you integrate cable with online streaming services so you don't have to constantly switch between input sources and also easily discover new content within the same interface. But there's a big flaw in that. The remote Mi TV comes with doesn't have any number keys and it also lacks voice support. So unless you're willing to watch something from the recommendations page, you will have to pick up the dedicated set-top box remote. Yeah, well, okay, but the perk of running a custom software is that it's a lot more responsive. Just navigating around the interface feels supremely snappier here. Also, compared to a regular Android TV, I feel it's also easier to understand and set up. For instance, you will have to go through the Bluetooth settings manually to configure the smart remote for the first time on an Android TV. On the Mi TV, it just works. But if you're looking for more apps and games, you should choose the Android TV. It comes preloaded with the Google Play Store so you can easily download any compatible app. Also, there's the Google Voice Assistant which works even inside apps. So you can just say things like play Stranger Things on your Netflix and it will start up the video automatically. This guy on the other hand does not support most TV apps or games despite running on an Android based skin. There are a few more perks of choosing Android TV. One of which is that it supports Google Cast. So you can project anything from your Android or iOS phone with a click of a button. There are a couple of more notable differences, especially in the specifications game. The Mi TV is powered by ARM Logic quad core processor at 1.8 GHz. This one too has a quad core processor, but View did not specify the name, so your guess is as good as mine. But ask yourself, do you need the processor name and more RAM or storage? Because here you get the double the internal storage at 16 GB. Plus, Android TV lets you mount any external drive as the internal storage. And oh yeah, 0.5 GB more RAM. Of course, the View TV would need more RAM than that given how laggy the interface is right now. One of the reasons that the View Activoice is not as attractive as the Mi TV is the sound bar at the bottom. On paper, the 20 watt speaker is a little louder than the Mi TV's internal 16 watt speaker. In real life though, the Mi TV produces richer and more clear sound. Both of them support Dolby and DTS as well. Both of them also have a similar set of ports as well, 3 HDMI and 2 USB, one of which is USB 3.0. The Mi TV still holds the most critical advantage, which is the price. The Mi TV's highest end variant, 55 inch 4K, is cheaper than the Activoice cheapest that is 43 inch 4k there's nearly a uh, rupees to 15000 difference when we compare the 55 inch models that's a lot yeah but 
Vue is betting more on the customer service and the Android software which will attract more cord cutters who entirely rely on services like Netflix for entertainment. The MeTV excels at integrating the online and offline content in a seamless interface at a very affordable price. Whereas the Vue Active Voice is better at doing all the smart stuff like voice input or games and also at better upscaling non 4K content. So there's a clear line which divides both of these and to choose which one to buy, you will have to think what do you prefer more. I hope this video was useful, do hit the like button if you want us to make more such comparisons and until the next time, may the deck be with you.